Hello, welcome to the Uni Factory in Denmark. Today I'm going to explain to you how to work with our Autotemp 36 controller, which you will find on our Easy Mix kettles. To start the unit, you press the on button here, and then you see all the LEDs pop up to indicate that the unit is starting up. There's also a standby button, which you find here. So you just dim the controls there on the, the display, but the unit in the background will stay on. Below here, the red button is an emergency stop. Should there be a ladle or anything else uh, going on there that you want to stop immediately, you press the button and then the unit will shut off automatically. Just rotate the button and start the unit up again. In the top, you see the temperature control. This button, when you press it, you can change the temperature per 10 digits with the big arrows or a single digit with the small arrows. To activate the heating, you press this button and the green LED will indicate we're heating up the kettle. The second line there, you can set the speed of the mixer, the left button and the right button, you can change the mixer pattern. There are six uh, usable mixer patterns for your food and there's an optional system for the cleaning where you have a separate cleaning tool. So you have seven mixing patterns available there. The third line, you can do the water filling by the push of the button. Now it gives you 20 arrow, which means that it cannot fill water because the lid is still closed. So you have to open the lid. And then when you push the button and it will indicate how much water is being added. In this case, the time is indicated. And the water will come out via this spout and pours into the kettle itself. You can also program the time, how much minutes and seconds you want to have water added in this controller and then exactly the same you activate the button here and then the water will come out via the spout here and pours into your bowl. Optionally on the easy mix you have a water meter uh, that you can add to your order and then you can set the exact amount of water like 1.2 liters or 105.3 liters and then it will automatically pour in also the exact amount of water that you have set. The fourth function here is the timer function where, where you can set the rest of the cooking time, let's say two hours and five minutes, then it will automatically activate. Or alternatively, you can also change the end time to 9.45 for instance, and then all the activated functions will stop at the set time. Below here, you see the tilting buttons. By press of the button, the unit will tilt and you can pour out the food automatically. It will tilt over 90 degrees. To tilt the unit back, you just push the lower button and then it will bring the unit back into its position. This is all you need to know about the controller. In case you have any further questions, please check the manual first and see what is described in there. If you have any questions afterwards, feel free to contact your local dealer. 